If you've got an Insta360 camera like my Go 3, you can now add data overlays from your Apple Watch or even your Garmin onto your running or cycling or any other activities. Hey, join me for a run now, and I'll just show you how to do that after I've finished, and you can watch some of the results. And stay tuned to the end, and I'll show you how to do it on your Garmin device too. Let's go. All right, so I'm here at the track. It's a little bit of a breeze here, so I'm hopefully the mics are going to be working okay. Uh, I'm on week six of my Couch to 5K returning to running program. And today I've got a couple of intervals, 10 minute runs with a three minute recovery. I'm just on my warm up now. But you can see that there's a few people around. I think there's an event going on later on today. And this is actually right next to the zoo here in Wellington, New Zealand, too. All right, just going to finish my warm up. And I'm going to clip here onto my forehead. And then I will start my Apple Watch. It's actually already going on my warm up. That will capture the data. And then when I get back to my studio, spare room, uh, I will uh, show you how to add that. And then you can see the video for yourself with the data overlay added on top of that. All right, let me finish my warm up and then I'll start the camera up again. So you can see a little bit of the run just to demonstrate how the Apple Watch health data overlay works. All right, I'm back. Where was I? Oh yeah, you can now, oh, hang on. You can now add sports data to your videos with the Insta360 app. The Ace Pro, Ace X3, One RS, and Go 3 Insta360 cameras now have this feature. And the Insta360 app works with exercise data from Apple Health and Garmin too. Here, let me show you how. So connect the camera to the Insta360 app to record the exercise data you've already captured. In this case, on my Apple Watch when I went on my run. The app will make sure that the in-camera time code is accurate for sports data by calibrating it automatically. You don't have to do anything. So for the Apple Watch, make sure you start recording data before shooting. Your Apple Watch will then sync all its data with Apple Health. Go to the Insta360 app, find the album page, open the footage and tap stats. Choose Apple Health for the data. Agree to authorize your sports data for the Insta360 app. I've already done this on my device. Now, once the syncing is done, the dashboard will show your Apple Watch data and you have the option to customize the dashboard however you like. Once you're done with your editing, export with the information displayed with the settings you want and this is what it looks like. Oh, and all your audio is captured as well too. This is just a data overlay. Let me cycle through the options here so you can see what the options for display look like. Okay, I don't have one, but here's what you do with your Garmin device in theory. Again, make sure your Garmin device is recording data before you start shooting. Save the data on your Garmin device once you're done. Open the Garmin app and synchronize the data to your mobile device. Go to the Insta360 app, find the album page, open the footage, and tap stats in the menu bar. Now choose Garmin Connect for the data. Simply sign into your Garmin account and allow the Insta360 app to access your sports data. Once everything is synced up, the dashboard again will show the data from your Garmin device, just like for Apple Watch. You can then customize and move the dashboard display. Take a look at what a bike ride with a data overlay looks like here in beautiful New Zealand here, and I'll see you there.